Hi everybody, welcome to another inspirational video. I thought I would include Eli, Liam, Beth, and Kaylee in tonight's inspirational video. And today's verse of the day is from, is, it, let's see, today is Monday, July 8th, 2024. And today's verse of the day comes from Ezekiel 7, verse 8. And it reads, so let's get started. Are you guys ready to get started to do our verse for this evening? Because we forgot to do it this morning. Kids and I forgot to do it this morning, so I thought we'd do it this evening. And... The kids wanted me to pull out the computer because they wanted to participate in it with me. So I hope you can see Kaylee back there. And I hope you can see them all. Okay, so Ezekiel 7, verse 8. The Sovereign Lord said to, to Israel, I am about to pour my wrath on you and spend my anger against you. I will judge you according to your conduct and repay you for all the disable practices. And then we have the thoughts on today's verse. So that was today's verse, which is Ezekiel 8, 7, verse 8. And thoughts on the verse I thought were really good. So we're going to read those too, okay? Because God's people had repeatedly rebelled and chosen to turn their unhearing ears and hard hearts against his will, God was about to let his people face the consequences of their sinfulness because of their in, enriched rebellion. He was ready to judge them using the, hard, the harshest of standards. Their rebellion compared to his divine and loving will. We must remember that God still wants us to be his holy people in our day, just as much as he wanted his people in Ezekiel's day. Let's be faithful to him no matter the values of our culture and how far they stray from God's will. Jesus has called us to be salt in our world's decay and light in our world's darkness. And for more verses, they have some verses down here at the end. Uh, you can also read Matthew chapter 5, verses 13 through 16. They also have John 3, verses 16 through 21, and Philippians 2, verses 12 through 16. Now, I can go back and go click on those and see what they also say. And, and then there's a prayer here at the end. So, I'm going to do the prayer and then... I'm going to go click on Matthew, John, and Philippians and see what they give us. Is that okay? So we can spend a little bit more time with the Lord tonight and bring it to all of Mommy's followers who are our brothers and sisters and aunts and uncles in Christ. My prayer. Oh, God. Please do not rebuke me in your wrath, but encourage me to live for you regardless of my circumstances 
or the culture surrounding me. I want to be faithful to you in all I do, say, and think. The world around me is trapped in darkness, so please use me to bring your light and life to the people around me. As I seek to honor you this day, please help me not to compromise my values or depart from your will. In Jesus' name, I pray and plead for these gifts from your grace. Amen. All right, so let's go see if I can click on these verses down here. Go ahead and show you. Um, I don't know if you, am I, they're in red lettering. I don't know if you can, can you see them? They're in red lettering. So let's go see if we can click on Matthew 5. Verses 13 through 16. Yep. Matthew 5, verse 13 through 16 says, You are the salt of the earth, but if the salt loses its saltness, how can it be made salty again? It is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled underfoot. Fourteen says, You are the light of the world. A town built on a hill can a town on a hill cannot be hidden. Number 15 says, Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on its stand and it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. Okay. So now we got to go to, so now we got to go to John 15 through 21. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. Verse 17 says, For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through him. Verse 18 says, Whoever believes in him is not... Whoever believes in him is not condemned, but whoever does not believe stands condemned already, because they have not believed in the name of God's one and only Son. Verse 19. This is the verdict. Light has come into the world, but people love darkness instead of light, because of their deep because their deeds were evil. Verse 20, everyone who does evil hates the light and will not come into the light for fear that their deeds will be exposed. And verse 21 says, but whoever lives by the truth comes into the light so that it may be may be seen 
plenty that what they have done has been done in the sight of God. Okay. And then last but not least, Philippians 2, verses 12 through 16. Okay, Philippians 12, Philippians 2, verses 12 through 16. Therefore, my dear friends, as you always obeyed, not only in my presence, but how much more in my absence, continue to work out your salvation with fear and trembling. Verse 13, for it is God who works in you to will and to act in order to fulfill his good purpose. 14, do everything without grumbling or arguing. Number verse 15, so that you may become blameless and pure children of God without fault in a in a rapt and crooked crooked generation then you will shine among them like stars in the sky and last verse verse 16 as you hold firmly to the word of life and then i will be able to boast on the day of christ that i did not run or labor in vain so there you go there it was there was the verse of the evening and some extra verses to go along with it. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. Kids, did you guys enjoy having some some God time before we eat dinner tonight? Yes, mommy. All right. So thank you guys so much for joining me and Eli, Liam, and Beth, and Kaylee for some so for some 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 of God's word. I'm happy to share it with you. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Share with your friends. Don't forget to click the notification bell and as always be blessed and be a blessing and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. We would love for you to be a part of Kelly's Little Ones Nursery and more. Thank you all so much for watching and we will see you all in the next video. Bye guys, be blessed and be a blessing.